Hello everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana at Vintage Treasures Antique Mall. The last time that I was here was in August and the reason I came down today was because the owners of Vintage Treasures just opened a new antique mall called The Rink. They have refurbished a roller rink and turned it into an antique mall. So we're gonna be going into both locations today. I can't wait to see what we may find. So we're gonna go into Vintage Treasures first and see what they have. Let's go. I do love a vintage trash can. That one's pretty cute with the poodle. The rhinestone's $30 on that. This is an interesting vase here. $15. Oh, I spy a George Horner candy tin here. I've never seen that one before. So it's made in England. Uh, most of these are from the 40s and early 50s. Does have some wear on it. Uh, it's $10. Yeah, we'll definitely pick that up for sure. There's some other cool tins here. I see there's a little bit of jewelry over here. It's an interesting color. Some little amber rhinestones. Those are pretty sparkly set there. 16. All right. I think we're just gonna get the tin and move on to the next one. Look at the graphics on this potato chip canister. We've got $22.95 on it. Love the colorful, fun animal graphics. That's really cool. I usually am not a fan of little snow babies, but look how cute the little magnetized ice skaters there are on the pond. That's a really fun piece. Looks like sea plastic bags. It's $59.95, Department 56. Very fun. I love those kind of magnetic things. This booth usually has some really interesting things in it. I usually always find something that has a cute little deer ornament. $3.95. Do we need to rescue you? You're awfully darn cute. I don't know how old he is. I've never seen that before, but yeah, I think we'll get him. He's pretty cute. Pretty cute. And then there's a little glass, blown glass Christmas tree ornament. That's interesting. $1.95. Yeah, their prices are always pretty good in this booth, too. Uranium glass covered pedestal compote. Interesting. $29.95. Cute little angel baby there. Alright. Some more Christmas ornaments down there. Look at the pretty brooches in this case here. That is really pretty right there. Looks like they've got 18 on it. It's got a Y setting on the back. This one's really pretty too the sparkle on that one. Wow. We've got 16 on that one. Uh, I don't see any marking on that one. It's really nice though. This one's also very sparkly. We've got 12 on that one. Some Christmas trees. I do like the candle. It's kind of different. Looks like they had 25 on the candle with the blue. That one's different. I've got 10 on that one. Purple. I'm just not really seeing how this one is cool though. I do like that. It's different. I like the really long flowered one. Got 16 on that one. This one's also different. Yeah, none of them appear to have any signatures or anything on them. So, I guess I'm not really seeing anything I need to take home with me today. And the teeny tiny little babies. $20. Got some penny dolls in here. 
Got a Kmart truck. That's that's something you don't see. I think they have $36 on it. Spot a little Napco Princess Mermaid piece here. So there's a whole like little bathroom and vanity set of these. This is the older set. Um, the earlier set doesn't have that kind of gray speckling on there. They've got $15 on it. Um, I think I'm going to leave it. I really, I don't know. I think I like the earlier pieces better than the gray kind of speckle, um, but I will leave it here. It's not a bad price. It's just uh, not speaking to me today. Lots of mid-century goodness in here. Look at these blue lucite grapes with the plastic. Never seen them with the plastic like that. 58. Look at that sculpture. My goodness. I love the turquoise. These are pretty. 18 on that. Oh, I was gonna say that looks like Potosi. It is. 120 on that. Lots of oh my gosh. Look at that. That thing in the charcoal, $40. That's really cool. So much cool mid century glass in here. There's an Empoli bottle. I love the orange. We got a Viking basket here for $15. Of course, we've got to have some swung vases here. The Big Ellie Smith is $225. The Viking back here. Looks like they've got $80 on that. Cool cake carrier. And then the great mid-century hutch there. Filled with stuff. Oh, I love the purple. The amethyst there, 150 Awesome, awesome pieces. This genie bottle's neat here in the crackle. $90. Very cool, cool pieces in there for sure. Some beautiful glass in these showcases here. Little hand painted Fenton. 35 in the little vase there. Look at the pink swirl there. That's really pretty. 50 bucks. The coin dot is also $50. Got a bunch of gold press Fenton here. $30, $50 on the basket. I can't see the prices on the larger vases. I love the Northwood vase there for $40. Got some marigold up here too. Look at the fun pixie gravel art. $46. They don't look like they're in the best of shape, but I never have seen a pixie ones before. This is not a piece I have ever seen in the wild before. This is a Christ um, Santa piece. It's marked on the bottom. Yeah, they want 85 for it. Very cool piece to see. That's actually really not bad for a collector. It is just uh, It's out of my price range for resale, but that's an awesome, awesome piece. Looks like it's in good shape, too. What are these? Oh my gosh. They're tiny little crochet babies with little painted faces. I have no idea what these are or how old they are, but they're so cute. How can I leave these here? I think, yeah, we're gonna get those. This blue opalescent, really pretty set there, 95. On it. Whoa, look at that giant paperweight egg. $130 on that. Wow. This is cool. I think they've got, oh, what do they have on this? $165. Very cool. It's a hand. And then, I don't know, it's backwards. Let me see if we can turn it around there. And then we've got a bird or a dove, I guess. See some Joseph Originals little doggy shakers. I don't see a prize. How much are you? How much are you? Twenty dollars. Yeah, it's just a little, a little out of my range. Those are fun to see. Usually, it's the cats that I see more often than the dogs. 
These little match, these little match Santas. At nine dollars each on those. Really pretty fun bird here. I got sixty-seven fifty on that. Oh, look at the little bunny. That is really cute. They've got thirty-two on that there. I had to capture the fountain butterfly. Usually these are in locked cases. I can never touch them, but gosh, that's pretty. It's got the frit on there too. The ground up glass to make the glitter. That's really pretty. I bet it glows too. 60 bucks on that. I do have some Christmas and mid-century in here. We've got a Fenton uh, Christmas tree here. Usually the Fenton ones have a, something little applied to them. I just buy some whole Howard here, 44 on that, and then this really cute, I think this is a Narco, yeah, little angel candle holder, I've got 30 on that, some more mid-century, look at these, meow meow, 31 on this one, it's missing an eye, I do have some swing vases here. So Margaret Keene, that's not something you see all the time. I've got 49 on that one, 38 on her. There's a rubber face Santa over here, $69 on him. He's ready for a hug. There's another Margaret Keene. Some fun Christmas in here, of course. I love the little Christmas mice. Those are 15. I've got the little Santas here in the front for seven. Little Rosboro Pixie for 12. Look at the orange reindeer. He's kind of cool. Little left and candle holder angels back there are very cute. I had to get all the pretty pottery. There's a Roseville, 49. I got some Van Brickle here, 69 at 95. Look at that Van Brickle owl. Whoa, he's cool. They've got 89 on that. And then this purple with the flower frog, that is such a cool color. I love that. You just don't see purple stuff very often. $27.50. Gosh, that's neat. I really like that. Got all sorts of meow meow. Different pottery in here. Mixed in. This is really nice too. This would make a really nice flower vase. 69 on the Roseville there. I did film these the last time that I was here. Um, looks like they've gotten some new ones in, but gosh, they're cool to see. I like to see, you know, collections of things all gathered together like this. Look at the ship one. That's pretty cool. The old fan. Look at the one with the stag up there at the top. And oh my goodness, that lamp. That is gorgeous. Very cool. Here's a very large Miro Star light up candle piece. Uh, looks like they've got 245 on it. Very cool to see that. Oh my gosh, I had to get this on camera. The Relco little candle holder sleigh set. 149 on that. Oh, they've got some cool Halloween in here. The giant ghost candle is awesome. And then we've got the little Commodore Noel girls. Their paint isn't that great on them, but they are 75. All right, you guys, here's everything that I'm going to be purchasing here today. And then we're going to head to the rink and check it out. All right, we're here. Here's the exterior. And there's the old roller rink part, so yeah, let's see what we can find. Well, right up at the front, there's some really lovely things for entertaining. Look at these bird pieces. I don't think these are probably not that old. I'm not sure. Loden Fields. I'm not sure, I've never heard of that, but I like the birds on it. This cutie pie little Fenton mouse is $70. But my goodness, fancy. Oh, the red glass. Oh my.
my goodness, look at that vase. Down here, wow, look at that. That is gorgeous, I love that. 75, this is really pretty too. 85 on that picture. Wow, we do have some contemporary stuff mixed in. It did say there was a mixture of um, vintage and handmade um, throughout the mall here as well. So this is awesome. I, okay, so I'll give you a full view. It goes way over that way, but they kept the original wood floors for the roller rink. I love that so much. Check out this lamp with the fiberglass shade. Oh my word. They've got 150 on it. Oh, how cute. How cute is this little vintage Christmas apron? That's darling, they've got 21 on that piece there. Wow, that vase is really interesting. Look at that. Oh, it's got a sticker on there. It's mostly wore off, so I'm not really sure about that there. $46. I know, there's lots of Christmas mixed in here. Wow, what is this? Look at that. Looks like it's signed on the bottom. $45. I have no idea. Maybe Swedish glass? Very cool. I love the color on that. Oh, look at these cutie pies. I haven't seen these in forever. $10? <gasps> yeah, we're gonna get these. Oh my gosh. Uh, the last time I found these, it was just... Um, the one single shaker, the little girl with the purse. So yeah, we're gonna get those. The giant frosty blow mold. They've got 215 on him. He's so cute. I think this might be the same vendor as at the other mall. They had the same kind of open showcase like this for their brooches. They have a lot more Christmas ones here than they had at the other store. Lots of pretty sparkles in there. Oh, look at the little Scotty dogs. Those are cool. Oh, I really like that one. That's very different. Gorgeous. This one's really pretty right here for 15 Again, I'm not really seeing anything that I need to take home with me today, but always fun to look. Look at the little baby Viking. Oh my word. It's a baby. Look how small it is. Oh my goodness. It's $49 firm. So cute. I don't think I've ever seen one of the tiny ones in person. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I spied this from the aisle. Oh my gosh. This is a Franz. Uh, if you guys have seen, there's a few videos that I have filmed this in. Um, at the Springfield Extravaganza, there's a lady that had a booth of this, and then there's also an antique mall in Rockford, Illinois that has a case full, but wow, I've never been able to touch it. Look at that, you guys, with the butterfly. That is stunning. $65. Oh, man. That I know for sure is worth um, a couple hundred dollars. I'm gonna think about that. Really, I'm gonna walk around and think about it. Um, you just don't see the fronds. So that is amazing. So we're gonna think about it. Some mid-century goodness. Look at this giant cat. Meow, meow. Some barware, some culver here. Very cool. Oh, look at the little kitty tea towel. <gasps> so cute. Yeah, Twelve dollars on that. That's tempting. Lots of pretty Pyrex. Over here, there's a really faded balloons. There, that tiger. So far, the displays in here have been very nice, very organized, stylized, put together. I really like what I'm seeing so far. I'm only down the second aisle. Some more mid-century stuff. Look at that Kitchtastic plastic with the pixie hanging out of it. And they've got $20 on that. Oh my gosh, this bottle brush tree. 
That's amazing. $85. I hardly ever see those anymore. We got the little reindeer for $8 a piece. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at her. Oh my goodness. She does have a little bit of paint loss. That is so cute. $35. Oh. I think that that has been repaired. I see a line there. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Ugh. I know she's a harder to find piece. I don't like the repair or the condition on it. So I think for 35, I'm gonna leave her here. But man, she's cute. Got the Napco Santa boot there. Looks like the paint is starting to crack on that. That's a Kitchtastic plastic Santa centerpiece. We've got the little cutie pies, 15. Very fun ornaments on that tree. Oh, so we've got some more Christmas ornaments over here. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like it's beaded. What's this little bird? Oh, look at the little bird. That's cute. Little flat. Jewel break. Big polar bear. Very cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's amazing. $40 on that. Look at the Kit Kat clock with the rhinestones. $35. No tail, unfortunately. Let's buy some pretty Roseville. $35 on the Zephyr Lily bowl there. Very nice pieces mixed in here. I love the pine cone. What a cool display. The little fireplace there. The old Santa. Hanging out. Very cool. We've got 105 on the ceramic tree. Here are some of the original seats that they still have from the roller rink. How cool. Hopefully you can read the floor. It says, welcome to the roller dome. That is cool. These are cool to see. This whole set, they've got $40, looks like. Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Dancer, Prancer. Looks like they're all there except for Rudolph. Very cool. I've only ever seen one of these ever in person. This is a UCAGCO uh, ceramic postcard. Jason and Mother Tuckers has actually sold one of these um, before. It does have the UCAGCO sticker. Looks like there's just a couple little flea bites on there. It's $12. I kind of feel like, I just don't know if I like this one. There's a whole series of these and it does come with the string so you can hang it on the wall. I just don't know if I like the subject matter of that one. Again, that's going to be a piece I'm going to think about. Oh my word, look at that. So cute. It it probably was given as, you know, a shower gift or something like that and never taken out of the box. Look at those giraffes. They're darling. You've got $40 on the set. How cool is that? Lots of fun stuff in the cubby holes. There's a really pretty bird, 45. An owl. Some fun stuff tucked in there, but the glass in this booth. The little Murano, 32. 75 on the ceramic tree. I've got some gorgeous. Got some Fenton. 
25 on the th on the vase there. That's not too bad. The handkerchief is 25. Look at these Murano pieces. At the pink one. 105 on the pink. This is really pretty. 23 on that. 37. 32 on the milk glass Fenton. There's a square bottom Ellie Smith for 55. Big Santa blow mold there. There's a Mexican folk art. I've sold one of these before. Much larger though. Um, she looks to be in pretty good shape for 22. And some more fun Christmas over here at the side. Some fun littles up here at the front. Look at this. Look at this pom-pom poodle that somebody crafted. $25. Very cool. Oh, I see a little red LeMay knee hugger pixie. I think we'll get him. For sure. Little shiny brights in the box. Some Ruthie Newton book pages for $5.99. So cute. Those are great to frame. I wish it was the whole book though. Look at this vintage wrapping set that has all the bows and the paper still in there. Very, very cool. Love all the blues together here. Got some Van Briggle pottery. I'll have to peek at the price on that. Roseville is $68, $20 firm on the Van Briggle candlesticks. Yeah, that's a hard to find color in the Moon and Stars. $75 on that piece. The Northwood is so gorgeous. I love that pattern there. 35. Some reds and pinks. Some more Roseville. I really like the shape of that planter. 15. Pink glaze is pretty. Oh, look at that provocative piggy. Oink, oink. This is so hard to find. This is a 1950s um, stacking sugar bowl and creamer. So the top is actually the creamer. The butter, bottom is the sugar bowl. It's $11.50. Now it is missing the spoon. So the spoon would have been a little shovel that would rest in the little notch here. That is missing. But for $11.50. I mean, he looks like he's in really good shape otherwise. I don't see any repairs, which tends to happen on the arms. Uh, so for, yeah, $11.50, I'm definitely going to get that. Okay, I'm back at the fronds. I've been thinking about it. I do actually have a piece of fronds at home. It's a vase with seahorses on it. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the fronds here, you guys. I just, if it was springtime, I definitely would probably snatch it up. But since we're in winter for a while, it's definitely more of a spring piece with the butterflies. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it behind, but it was very cool to see, it's beautiful. That was so much fun, I loved that. What a great antique mall. Uh, so I did get a little bit of history about the building while I was in there. So the Roller Dome was built in 1970 and it closed in 2015. I'm so glad that somebody got this awesome space and did something with it. I'm really happy that they kept the original wood flooring in there. You could actually smell it. I can't remember the last time that I was roller skating, probably when I was in high school or junior high school. Uh, but the smell just brought me right back. Uh, very, very cool. And the original seats that were in there, awesome. Uh, definitely a great antique mall to come and check out. I will leave all of the information for the rink 
and for Vintage Treasures down in the description of the video. Definitely stop in both of these stores if you're ever in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area. It's worth the trip. Great variety of stuff. Uh, definitely a range of price points. You could find just about anything in either one of these places. So thank you so much for following along with me today. And leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite thing that I filmed today? Or that I purchased? Uh, or did I leave something behind? Did I... Did I leave that Franz vase behind and I shouldn't have? Let me know down in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, if you like to watch this kind of content. I love to shop and go new places. So thank you guys again so much for following along and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.